What does the Greek debt crisis say about major institutions like the IMF or central banks? What it says about them is that their ability to fund and to support large countries like Greece when they get into trouble is limited. They have a certain amount of resources and they can only impose so many different types of fiscal austerity packages that will have meaning. And therefore there's a limit on their capacity both in resources and in leverage to alter the policies of a country such as Greece. Therefore they need to be seen as one large member of a broader coalition that has to come together to support countries when they get in, in trouble. What does the IMF need right now to deal with the Greek credit crisis? They need credibility, they need the resources, and they need the ability to get the private banks to roll over that debt and the governments to actually underwrite that debt. So we need transparency, early warning signs, and the capacity to work with both the private sector, governments, and the not-for-profits. What sort of moves should the newly appointed IMF head, Christine Lagarde, make to deal with the Greek debt crisis? Well, Christine Lagarde is absolutely fabulous, and this was an absolute fabulous choice. She's very analytical. She's really good at identifying problems. She's uh, yet to prove herself as a coalition builder and the one that can put together these large deals between different governments, private sector, and the IMF World Bank. And that's really what her role is going to be, to structure a resolution that includes all of the major players, all the major debt holders, in a way that they can see uh, repayment taking place.